I just got back from my first cybersecurity conference and this was their badge. I went to Bloomington B-Sides Cybersecurity Conference 2024 and I had a great time. This is the first conference I've ever been to. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why you should go to a cybersecurity conference, what it was like going for the first time and how I solved their encrypted badge CTF. So we all know how hard it is to network both in life and especially in careers, in your industry, in cybersecurity. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why you should attend a cybersecurity conference, especially if you haven't been to one already. I met so many great people in the industry. Going to this conference was a great way for me to work on my soft skills, building relationships, talking face-to-face -face with people, because networking is a whole skill in itself. And obviously one of the other great parts is the amount of information you learn when you go to these conferences. I don't think you're going to exactly become an expert in any one thing, but you get exposed to a ton of different fields and niches, a ton of different topics and tools. Some of my favorite talks were on ransomware, incident response, vulnerability management. It was awesome to hear like directly from, for example, a CISO about career advice and career guidance. And I think conferences, B-Sides specifically, is a great way to get involved and support like local cybersecurity communities. Community. And I think it was a great way for me to get closer, more involved in cybersecurity community as a whole. I think one thing I didn't realize until I went and one thing that can get overlooked is when you watch videos from behind a screen, when you read articles, when you listen to major conference talks, it's very different than being with everyday people who do this as their day job, people like you and me, being face to face with real everyday people in the industry. You know, as much as I love John Hammond and all the mega experts out there killing it, it was kind of eye opening to be surrounded by and to learn from real everyday normal people. Shout out John Hammond though. What was it like going for the first time? It's my first time going to any cybersecurity conference. I'm new to the field in general and it was great. Everyone was helpful, nice, very approachable. There was everyone from CISOs and industry veterans to first timers, to people new in the field, analysts, to students who are still studying in college. And the diversity was great. It was really welcoming. One part I did didn't expect was the time management aspect. There's so much going on at once. There's multiple talks happening at once. There's CTFs and workshops going on throughout the whole conference. And of course, you want to just talk to people and have conversations. But that's also a great thing because you can choose specifically what you're interested in the most. So as a first timer, it was great. 10 out of 10 recommend. I learned so much. I met a ton of awesome people who had great conversations, got a bunch of free stuff. They were giving away a flipper zero for free. I was able to pick a lock and the Center for Applied Cybersecurity Research at IU gave me a t-shirt. And in the villages, the conference had a ton of different workshops and tables where you can try hacking, you can do lock picking. And the conference had like three big CTFs going the whole time. And then they give prizes at the end for whoever wins them. One of them was network security, IOT security. So there's a bunch of routers and you try hacking each one of them. You try hacking some cameras and I think a MacBook and you get points based Based on what you can access. An open source intelligence CTF ran by Tom Hawker at Trace Labs. Shout out, he's a really cool guy. Where they simulated having to find a missing person with open source intelligence. And the one that interested me the most that I ended up solving was the badge challenge. So when you get there, you get a badge and on that badge is a CD with an encrypted message on it. And over two days, it's basically a race. Whoever can crack the message first, you get a little prize. I did get a prize, but I did not come in first. I'm gonna show you exactly how I solved the encrypted message from start to finish. So right after they announced the badge challenge, I put this in my computer and there was two files on it. A file called Welcome, Welcome to B-Sides 2024. This year's challenge may seem quite cryptic. Don't be afraid, be optimistic. To decode this message, you will need someone. Go find a partner and let's have some fun. The only other file on there was this attendee challenge part which is basically just, you know, some random text. You need someone else because actually the staff had a different color CD and on their CD was this other message, which is again, just some random encrypted text. And the only other thing you get is a hint page, which is basically this page hanging up everywhere that says B-Sides Bloomington 2024 Bad Challenge Hint. And when you scan this QR code, this is the link it goes to. 
But if you look at this hint page, there's actually two hints on the page itself. The first one is this 192 in the bottom corner. And this is actually the key size in bits using AES encryption. What you had to do was put both your encrypted message and the encrypted message together as the ciphertext. To decrypt this AES-192, we need a 24 character key. And this title, never gonna give you up, is actually 23 characters. And the last character you needed was directly on this page. It was the underlined, highlighted exclamation point. Never gonna give you up. If you decrypt that to base 64, if you put this in a decoder, and I'm gonna use auto detect, you get another base 64 string, which if you decode again, you get another base 64 string. And if you decode that again, you get a new format, a different string. And at this point, I figured it was like a substitution cipher, something like a Caesar cipher. So similar to Caesar cipher, a rot, ROT for rotation, I believe. All the characters get rotated a certain amount. So if the key was one, then A would be B, B would be C, so on and so forth. And the most likely output that it gave me, the top string, you can almost kind of read it. For example, you can pretty much tell that's welcome. If we swap cases and then reverse it, then you can kind of see the final message. It's backwards, but welcome to B-Sides Bloomington 2024. Never gonna give you up. This challenge was super fun. I had a ton of fun. Big shout out to Damien at the conference who put this together. He designed it. And along the way, he helped me with a lot of hints, especially at the end. I was like almost out of time. I didn't come in first, but I finished like just minutes after this other team of like multiple people. But Damien did give me an honorable mention. I got like a free book and a gift card and a book voucher and it was so much fun so satisfying to finally solve after two days the encrypted puzzle on the cd and huge shout out to bloomington b-sides because that was an awesome event it was a great experience for my first time going to a cybersecurity conference i really recommend you guys check them out or check out another b-sides that might be local to you and as always thanks for watching